You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. Hello, you're welcome. Hello, have you seen a zoo? He went out this morning, he has no return. Wow. What about Ekene? He's fetching water. All right, I will. Do make yourself comfortable. I'll wait for him for a while. Your Majesty. Where is my daughter? Uh, Your Majesty, I really don't know the exact place she is right now. What? What did I hear you say? That you don't know where my daughter is? No, no not exactly, oh. Your Majesty. I have to. he had a good reason for sending for me. I didn't know it was to ask me some stupid questions. Can you imagine? <laughs> Do you know that so he fun. actually called you to intimidate you and make you shut your mouth? I'm <laughs> serious. That is where <laughs> he got it all wrong. I told him to his face that he slept with Margaret. Trust me now, you know what I can do. I know he would have been so shocked. Yes, I mean, for you to tell him his sins to his face, he would be so shocked. Mm -hmm. I told him to his face, just like I told Margaret. You know, Ma Margaret is my friend, though. Yes, I, I know she's my friend, but me, I, I don't like unfaithfulness and injustice. You, you know me now. I, I don't oh, like, I like being plain. Just leave it. All men on this surface earth are useless. Yeah, they are, yes, they are useless. They are very useless. Very useless. I think we just talk about something more important, you know? So, hmm. my dear, this is your breath. Since our parents died, I've been going to a public school. It's not bad going to a public school. Nothing is permanent. You know, sometimes we experience things we don't want to, but we're powerless to change it. All I know is that I don't like the public school. They are always on strike. But since it is what my brother can afford now, I really don't have a choice. You know what? I just want you to learn. Learn so hard, okay? So that you become someone brilliant in the future. Hmm? <laughs> this is causing a lot of troubles in my house. It is quite appalling that Margaret should want to break up my sister's relationship for no just cause. 
Ben, I don't understand what you're talking about. Can you bring me up to speed? Margaret had a fling with my sister's fiancé and went ahead to send her a text message to that effect. She did what? Actually, my girl has been acting up lately and I have just realized why. Tony, I can see that this is no social call. Sit down at least. You're damn right it's no social call. You looked around town and you couldn't find any other girl to mess around with but my girl. You see, this is one rumor that's flying around town. And it's really messing me up. I mean, my relationship is... Does it look like I care about your stupid relationship? Did you say stupid relationship? Wait, wait, wait. Did you say stupid relationship? Ah. Achike, stay away from Margaret. Stay away from her or... Oh. Tony, that's a cliche. Save that shit for some wretch somewhere who is scared of you. Now, get out of my office. I mean, now! I am not going to repeat this warning again. I am not. Why would they do a thing like that? Is that chicky that thick headed not to know his boundaries? And Margaret, Margaret had to... What? Had to what? No, 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 Anthony. Are you sure that what you just told me is the truth? I'm sure. God, goodness me. Margaret will not kill me. Margaret will not kill me. What is this, eh? Margaret. Yeah? Do you like it here? I mean, this house is nothing close to what you're used to. And you're always happy with this place. Izu. I may have my shortcomings, but believe me, wealth is not everything. You know, uncertainty has its attraction. And it's one of the things I've come to fall in love with in your world. Uncertainty. Yep. My parents died because we were not certain. Well, I can be your mother. What? Why? I don't look old enough to be your mother. Well, it's just that I imagine you seated by a fireplace. Cooking with firewood. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's going to be a wonderful sight to behold. Hmm? Stop it. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> hmm? You want to try me? Majesty, what a good surprise. You're welcome. Please come into the house. Thank you, Amara. Yes, what did you say about my daughter, Margaret, and uh, Achike? Um, your, your, your Majesty, uh, you, you know, we are friends and we know each other better. Achike and Anthony, you know, they've been having some, some kind of ego problems and instead of them to come together and settle 
their differences now that they are tired of it. They, 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 they are looking for where to lay their blames of lack of common sense. That is just it, ma. And what kind of problems are they having? Um, Your Majesty, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think it has anything to do with Margaret, no. Really? Goodbye, Your Majesty. My regards to Margaret, ma. What is eating you up? Why do you think so? Because that's the only time you call me Margaret. So what is it? Spit. Sit down. Thank you so much for accepting me the way I am. But, you know, Sometimes, considering our social differences, I get scared of the problems your coming here can cause. Are you saying I'm in trouble? No. No, no, no. That's not what I meant. I'm sorry. Driver. Let me call him. Hello, Gozia, where are you? What? How dare you? You know what? Goodbye. What is it? The idiot said my mom saw him and asked him to drive home. He's gone. Oh my god. You know what? Just calm down, okay? Calm down. Um, let's be taking a walk while I try to stop a taxi, okay? I'm, I'm sure we'll get one. I will so kill him. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go. Are you Margaret? What have I done this time, mother? 
Do you have any make of human kindness at all? Margaret, I know you don't value your life. But even if you don't value your life, you should understand that the lives of others are priceless. You left Gozea at that junction that leads next to nowhere, only for God knows how long. What if something had happened to me, Mom? Why did he have to go with my car? At least he could have left my car behind for me. If something had happened to you, Margaret, you asked for it. Margaret, you've decided to give me high blood pressure. Eh? Why? Do you enjoy the fact that I'm complaining and Anthony's complaining? Mom, leave Anthony out of this, okay? Because he is just overreacting. And I am not giving you any high BP. <laughs> Meg, do you know your mother came to my house and was talking about what I said about you and Achiki and how you Amara. If you don't have anything to say, please just shut your mouth. Okay. I'll shut my mouth. But, but, but your mother has to understand that things like this should be between friends like us and... Amara. Sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Listen, if you don't have something important to say, then keep quiet. If I should tell you what... Sorry. You don't have to be sorry. this going to take? Um, if I start now, I'll deliver the job by the end of the day. Well, get to work. Okay, Your Highness. Uh, please, can I go with it so that I'll follow up the work? Of course. Thank you, Your Highness. Have a nice day. Yes, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. Benedita, I know you like paintings a lot, no doubt. But you see, there is no reason for you to feel that bad. Why? I mean, didn't you see what that stupid, stupid painter just did to me? He just wasted my money and my time and did rubbish? Bene, complex problems sometimes have the simplest solutions. You see, my photographer has agreed to make a new one for you. Or if possible, work on the old one. So please stop eating yourself up and put up a smile that befits a princess. Please. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's watch this. Okay. Okay. I'm happy now. Hi. Are you stupid? Why 
Why didn't you wait for me? That was my car you drove away with without letting me know. My, my princess, it was a mother that insisted that I come along with her. I didn't know how I could have disobeyed her. Idiot. That is when you would have left my car alone and gone with her. Now get out of my side before I lose my temper. Brazil, the Queen has told me everything. And I'm glad you took it like a man. This is one of those things. Huh? Um, have this. For your troubles. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Gose, do you think I would ever need your help? My help. Yes. You don't need to say it twice, sir. Just tell me whatever it is you need to be done. It will be done immediately, sir. Mm. Now, I have a feeling that Margaret has fallen under some kind of bad influence lately. I need to find out what is going on. I need to know who is responsible. 
Do you think you can help me with that? You don't need to say it again, sir. for the masterpiece you've given me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm grateful. <laughs> oh my god. Princess. 450,000 naira. I know. <laughs> you deserve every bit of that money. Oh, princess. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. You've changed my life. The first time I saw him was the day I went for a fundraising ceremony. As soon as I stepped out of my car, the flash of his camera hit me. And I turned to look at him. He made a gesture at me that meant that I was beautiful. Then I went into the hall. to attend to. I left the hall, went into my car. So? Then I just heard a knock on my window. I mean, it just drew my attention. And I turned, I looked up, it was the photographer. With this picture in his hand, you know, you know me now, I couldn't have even just paid attention to the picture, but it was so beautiful. Is this not beautiful? Hey, hey, enough of this photographer story. Wait, listen, listen, I hope you're not thinking of this kind of classic story where a rich girl falls for a poor boy and live happily ever after. <laughs> Is that the impression I'm giving you? You tell me. I'm not telling you anything, okay? <laughs> and then, yes, you said something about your uh, um, Margaret's mother coming to your house. Hmm, that's the gist. Before you interrupt me, your photograph story. She came to my house and was asking me what I knew about Margaret sleeping with Atiki. Can you imagine? I mean, what's the meaning of that? What's her problem? My dear, tell me. It's not like I'm a psychiatrist or something. Meanwhile, I told her the truth. 
I told her that what my girl did was wrong. You know, and I condemned it in its entirety. You know me now. I know the fear face. Anyway, she should come and ask me that she will receive the bad side of my tongue. Rubbish. Meanwhile, what are you going to do with that thing? What am I going to do with this? Mm-hmm. It's going to my bedroom. I'll be seeing if, if I wake up like something pretty. Are you okay? I'm very okay. Are you sure? This is beautiful. Just look at it now. Thank you. Okay. What's wrong with you? Uh, no worries. Hello. Oh, beautiful painting. I'm sorry. My brother will always give me a knock on the head each time I forgot to bring water before eating. So do you want me to give you one now? But I have already brought the water. <laughs> I know. I will still go and bring some more. It's Please. okay. I'm alright. I want you to go get that gate open right now! I'm not going anywhere. Did you just say you're not going anywhere? This, this is... Yes, what is the matter? First, let's have an open gate for you, man. First, we in. Okay, that's okay. Now, you go back to your duty post and I'll take it from here. Thank you, my prince. Ben, you know I really need to see her. Achike. Oh. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, you see, Achike, she doesn't really want to see you now. You... What's going on here? Ahmed! Ahmed! What is this man doing here? That's not to come here in the first way. You said what? Get a grip on yourself, sister. You know what? Tell this man to get out of this compound right now. Tell him to leave. I said, leave my compound right now! Get out! Get out! What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out and go to the gate! Oh, rubbish! Can, can you imagine this guy? I'm looking for where to finish. Calm down. Look at this. He's gone. Okay. Okay. Princess, all beautifully called up. She looks so beautiful. She looks like an angel. <laughs> wow. I waited forever for you. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had lots of things to take care of. I'm so sorry <laughs> for you missing me. Mm hmm. How was your day? 
me? Well, the usual spot. Target and snap business. Mm -hmm. You was fine. You want something to eat? Well, yes, I'm hungry, but how are you going to get that? <laughs> I boiled yam and oil. You love it. Really? Mm hmm. You yeah. did that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, I did. You want some? Sure. All right, let me get you some. Wow. What is it with Margaret and this place? What's the attraction? It's about time I found out. And I know exactly who is going to be my eyes there. You could, uh... Izu, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, chairman. I'm fine, chairman. No problem. <laughs> I want you to do something for me. Hey, anything for my chairman. Say it. Just mention it. I've noticed that my fiance has been frequenting this area, and I don't really like it. Hey. I want you to find out where she goes and who she sees. Oh, can you do that for me? That's the easiest thing I can do for my chairman now, eh? Very easy. Uh, what does she look like? I mean, what, what's her name? Her name is Margaret Udemba. She's uh, average height, dark in complexion, beautiful. Okay. Uh, yes, I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I, I will. I'll, I'll watch out for you. All right. uh, no problem. No problem, Machama. Machama, you are looking good. Izu, keep your eyes on it. Okay. Listen. What do you expect me to do? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever told her you left me for her? Why don't you take things the way you see them? Well, that's because things are not always the way they seem to be. You think I am the one with a heart to be toyed with, right? <laughs> Old time's sake is the only reason I'm handling things this way. Stop whatever it is you're up to. Achike. Achike, I knew you when you had next to nothing. Now you feel you're a big boy and I'm no longer good enough for you. You want a royal blood, a blue blood, right? Go ahead, have fun, enjoy your relationship. What are you doing here? Amara. Amara. Stay away. Actually, get out of my house. I will. Get out. But stay away. 
bones. So you guys are getting married? We were dating before. And you know mothers. Mine wanted me to marry Anthony. But I'm not really sure about that. And what about your father? What is he saying about it? But my father spends most of the time in the village, ruling the people there as their king. But he really cares about my happiness. I've known Anthony for a very long time now. And I also know that he can make things very difficult for me. Margaret, I think you should stop coming here. Till... Please, I love you. You see, you're a source of inspiration to me. I am not a German. You question me, I'm a soldier. 